said in the earlier segment, uh, we will be taking our applications uh, here in Forsyth County uh, starting next Monday uh, through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at our Christmas Center at 680 Peters Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem. Now, what are these applications for? These applications are for individuals or families who find themselves in need of uh, a little extra push uh, for the Christmas season. It could be that uh, their, their hours have been shortened, they've lost their jobs, they're on a fixed income, uh, they've got more uh, coming, uh, more going out as far as expenses than they have coming in, they've just fallen on hard times and these applications are taken uh, in order to apply, you have to bring a picture ID, verification of income and expense, also uh, birth certificates for all children in the household, uh, and uh, also sizes of clothing and shoes and so forth for the children. The application is completed. The application goes into a database so that we ensure there are not any duplicates uh, as far as individuals. Uh, we may have two or three families living in one address, and we... When we, when we discover that, we make that one household. We still supply uh, food and toys for everyone in that household, but we don't send three different packages to one address. Uh, and once that, is, once, that is, once that happens, we will begin to print out the angels, which uh, go on the angel trees, which will begin November the 6th. Uh, we'll have angel trees, uh, 26 or to 28 trees around the, Western, the greater Western Salem area. Our largest tree is at uh, Haynes Mall outside of H&M on the lower level. Uh, we'll have uh, trees at all the legacy branches, uh, Krispy Kreme, uh, Walmarts, and, and other locations uh, who will allow us to, to place a, uh, an angel tree there. And the angel tree adoption is very simple. You look at the uh, tag on the tree. The tag on the tree will give you uh, the, na the last name or the first name, excuse me, the first name, the age, the sex, of the child, the clothing sizes, you pull that tag off and you take it and uh, buy a toy or, or two for that child in the age group, some clothing possibly, bring it back to, uh, to the location you picked it up from essentially and uh, we pick up those angels and uh, sort them and package them so that the families have them uh, uh, for Christmas. Now there are, the question that always comes up, oh my goodness, what if a, what if a child is not uh, adopted off the tree? Do they not get anything? Well, no. That's not the way the Salvation Army operates. Uh, we'll ensure that uh, every child who uh, is on the, comes to us through the application process has, has three toys. Uh, we do that through uh, partnerships uh, and donations of, of toys and, and money. Uh, throughout the Christmas season. Uh, we're fortunate to, to partner again this year with Toys for Tots in Forsyth County. They will, uh, they will do their customary toy drive and uh, Toys for Tots uh, will give the Salvation Army the toys that they collect and we will then package those toys and make sure they get to, into a child's, uh, uh, under a child's Christmas tree.